Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration B 2013. This one's problem number three. We have the integral of natural log x cosine x minus sine x times one over x all over ln x squared dx. Okay, a couple things that I noticed right away. We have here in the numerator, we have natural log of x. The derivative of natural log x is one over x and we have that right over here. And then over here we have sine x but the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and we have this over here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just label this ln x. I'm gonna call this piece here g. And then for this sine x over here, I'm just gonna call this f. If we just rewrite the integral using this f and g notation, so here's our f prime. So we have in the numerator f prime times g, and then this part over here is just f g prime. And again, we have our ln x in the denominator, so this here is actually just g squared. And the reason I'm writing it out this way is because what we have here in the integral is just the quotient rule. So we have our quotient rule over here to the right, and of course this is exactly what we have here in the integral. And this is just really similar to the product rule. You can actually always use the product rule if you wanted, but it allows us to take the derivative for a fraction. So what I can do using this in reverse is I can rewrite this integral. I can write it as f over g prime. But because we have a derivative inside the integral, this is just gonna give me this whole thing is gonna reduce just f over g plus c. So let's just clarify everything that's happening. So we're saying our f of x, or just this f, is gonna be sine x, and our g of x in this is gonna be natural log x. And so our solution is just gonna be this f over g, so our solution to this is just gonna be sine x over natural log x plus c, and that's it. Okay, really quick problem, we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.